Faith means to me is uh, seeing things that they can be and not as they are. You know, being able to uh, have confidence that uh, what you work for and the things that you're, uh, the seeds you're sowing, that there will uh, be a fruitful harvest at the end. So it's just seeing things as they can be and not as they are. Us going in and just uh, having the mindset of uh, coming in every day and just uh, putting in the work, understanding that uh, us doing things uh, the right way because it's the, the right thing to do and just, you know, having standards and things of that nature that, uh, that delay gratification, that there will be a payoff at the end. And my personal life, uh, I mean, my personal life, my professional life, uh, it's all the same. So faith is uh, what everything is built upon for me. So uh, my faith is uh, I, I, I trust God with everything. In fact, I'm uh, here leading just by following. So uh, it, whether it's home, whether it's uh, my professional life, my faith is the, the bare rock and it's the foundation of who I am as a person. Family, so that's a good one. So family for us is uh, forget about me, I love you. So it's actually an acronym we use a lot. And uh, it's about being other-centered. So uh, I have uh, something I always share, uh, the, the difference between being successful and being significant. And uh, that's where kind of family arrives for us. And so being successful is when, as a result of your hard work, your determination, and your sacrifices, you benefit from that. Significance is, as a result of those same sacrifices, hard work, and your dedication, other people benefit. So. Family is, forget about me, I love you, it's being other-centered, and uh, it's you doing things for the good of other people because uh, we understand that we're blessed to be a blessing to others, so uh, that's what family is. Just uh, our bond, man, is that uh, my family is my rock. Uh, besides my faith, that is the best decision I ever made. Uh, I'm a, I, I like to consider myself a pretty intelligent guy, so I met my wife in high school and uh, was smart enough not to let her go. And so uh, from that standpoint, man, our faith is the glue that holds us together, uh, our experiences, and the fact that uh, we have four kids that actually still like hanging out with me and my wife, so that's a pretty good deal. Football, it means playing through your chest. It means uh, just giving everything you have every second of the day, understanding that you have, it's an honor and a privilege to, to play football. I mean, it is a game, but at the same time, it is a game that is what I call a great uniter. It uh, breaks down all bonds. Uh, it doesn't matter what your backgrounds are. Football to me, man, if the world was more like football, we'd have a whole lot less problems because for 60 minutes, four quarters, however long it is, man, five quarters, whatever the game, Everyone comes together, man, and they root for one team. You know, everyone bleeds the same color. And uh, so football for me is just heart. It's heart, man. It's how uh, I feel we should operate. And it's an extension of the heart of Christ. Ministry. I, I literally, I did not want to coach. Never thought I wanted to coach. But uh, when I accepted my calling to go into ministry, God led me back to uh, the sport that I love and invested so much time in. So uh, it's just go figure, man. God's plan, his timing, and I'm just happy to be here. Man, by showing up every day and being the same person, I tell our guys we will be consistently consistent. And so I ask them to do the same thing. Uh, that's what people respect, consistency. So the fact that they know that uh, you are the same person day in and day out, they know what to expect, they know they can trust you. And as a result, I mean, they can trust that you love them because you're doing it, you're coming from a place of love and consistently doing it. Family, very uh, other centered. Uh, I, I, since I've been here, man, the, the experiences and things that I've heard on campus, the amount of people that have been just willing to help me and my family get acclimated to the area, and just people being consistent. Uh, and actually like being unapologetic about loving the Lord and uh, you know being sold out for him on a daily basis. You know, it's not perfect, it's always gonna be messy because it's people, but uh, unconditional love, man, you love people as they come, and that's, that's what it means for me here. Most enjoyable aspect, uh, I really enjoy, man, uh, helping people be, you know, reach their maximum potential. So uh, I love being with our guys. I love seeing, you know, guys, that, that kind of light bulb moment where, you know, you kind of tell them something, because coaching is nothing more different than parenting, right? So you tell them something a hundred million times and then like the hundred million and one time they actually get it. And it's like, oh, this actually does work. And you like, yeah, I mean, I've been around for a while, but uh, so seeing those light bulb moments for our guys where we had guys in the spring that went from, uh, you know, from a GPA standpoint, low GPAs to, you know, over 3.4s, 3.5 GPAs, seeing young men, you know, uh, embrace, you know, uh, responsibilities and the, the definition of commitment, understanding finally that, you know, yeah, emotions don't matter, you know, uh, you have to honor your, your, your commitments and your responsibilities. So I would just say the light bulb moments uh, with our guys that uh, you know is setting them up for, to be successful in life. Uh, primary goal is, uh, I can tell you this, or to win lives for Christ, to influence this community, and we wanna win this community just by going out and using our platforms that God has given us and win a ton of national championships. Uh, and 
The good guys have to win too, so we do it for Christ, Christ at the head, Christ at the center. It's just a matter of time before we build a, a championship program.